Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Washington Nationals. It was another building year for the Nats last year who finished in the basement of the NL East. However, there were a few bright spots last season. C.J. Abrams set the table at the top of the lineup and racked up 52 extra base hits, 18 of those coming via the long ball. Not to mention, he also swiped 47 bags. Another bat that had big moments for the Nats last year was outfielder Lane Thomas. The 27-year-old enjoyed a career year with new benchmarks and home runs with 28 and RBIs with 86. In the rotation, they are led by Josiah Gray, the main piece in the Trey Turner deal in 2021. The right-hander was durable last year, towing the slab 30 times and pitching to a 3.91 ERA. The other youngster in the rotation is lefty Mackenzie Gore, who went 7-10 and last year in 27 starts. This will be Gore's second season in the Nats uniform since coming over in the Juan Soto deal from the Padres in 2022. Another big piece of the Nats' future is second overall pick in 2023, Dylan Cruz. Over three years in college ball, Cruz hit an absurd 380 with an OPS a shade over 1,100. The Nats made some minor moves via free agency, bringing in left-handed power bat Joey Gallo, who is coming off a 21 home run campaign with the Minnesota Twins, but he does remain prone to the strikeout. They also brought in former Cincinnati Reds outfielder Nick Senzel on a one-year deal and took a flyer on Jesse Winker on a minor league deal, who has yet to have a good season since he was an all-star in 2021 as a member of the Reds. Let's take a deeper look at the 2024 Nationals roster. All right, guys, today we're looking at the Washington Nationals. Dylan, obviously a, a young team, um, still building for the future. Uh, what sticks out to you when you look at this uh, Washington Nationals lineup? Yeah, it's got to be C.J. Abrams, Keith Ruiz. Um, yeah, and they got Carter Keeboom, who needs to take that next step this year. Yeah. Uh, 2023, he only had four homers, 252 average. You see at the bottom, he's on the bench there. Right. Um, As far as what he's projected for, again, five homers, 228. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is a first rounder that they have a lot of stock in, or at least had a lot of stock in. Um, So, yeah, if they can get Carter Keebum going, he's only 26. Yeah. And, you know, that's going to be, I wouldn't even say a diamond in the rough. It's just he's got to live up to that potential, but. Um, Keith Ruiz is a dog behind the plate. Oh, yeah. Um, he could be a top 10 offensive catcher, maybe top five if he reaches, you know, his peak there. But he is 25 as well. So, like, it's – you're starting to turn into um, that area where they're not just young pups anymore. Like, these guys are are grown, grown men at this point. Right. And they have to go put it together. Um, obviously, C.J. Abrams is only 23 years old. Yeah. Um, he's projected to hit 16 homers with 37 stolen bags last year at 18 with 47. Yep. Right. Like he, he can get on base a little bit more 300 on base ain't going to be great. Um, but if he can get on base and, you know, change their approach around a little bit and really set the table at the top of that lineup, you know, they're going to be what they traded Juan Soto for, you know, they're going to be getting that value that, uh, they traded Soto for. Sorry. Yep. Um, and I think that's going to be, uh, building a, a step forward for them to start spending again. Yeah, no, for sure. Obviously, um, Abrams is, uh, yeah, he's at the top of that lineup, kind of set the table. Obviously, Lane Thomas had uh, a big year last year, was uh, um, in trade talks a lot. Um, and then they bring in a guy like Joey Gallo, obviously um, going to live and die with the strikeouts, but I mean, he is still capable of hitting the long ball here and there. Um, they bring in Jesse Winker on a, on a minor league deal. They projected him to make the lineup. And then obviously they bring in a guy like, uh, Nick Senzel, who, uh, kind of played, kind of was a rotational player in, uh, Cincinnati. Um, yeah, this, the, the bottom of the lineup, not, not very sexy. Obviously Joey Manessis had a, had a pretty, pretty solid year last year. Um, but let, let's take a look at what they got in the pitching here. Yeah. Josiah Gray and Mackenzie Gore are yeah. it's another thing. I mean, those two guys have to live up to what they were. Last year was a good building block year. Josiah Gray had a 391. Um, I think he was the I think he's who represented the Nats in the All-Star game. I could be wrong on that. I think you're um, right. I think you're right about that. And then Mackenzie Gore last year, he had some days where he looked really good. Uh 442, it's serviceable, right? But it's just not that um, you know first round draft pick yeah. type type year right so he's only 25 though only two years in the league he should get that going yeah. uh patrick corbin uh is what it, what he is at this point he's gonna yep. eat the innings but he's not going to uh be old patrick corbin anymore it seems like we're kind of three years removed from that sad because he's only 34 
Yeah. Um, and obviously that's kind of an upside down contract at this point. But hey, right. you never know. He yep. could uh have a good year, get flipped. He's on a walk year, so um you never know. What do you Yeah, got? he's he been he's been one of the I mean for a qualified starter, he was, he was one of the worst last year. So, I mean, they, yeah. they he hasn't lived up to that deal. You're right, um, obviously. Um, but they like, won the World, the world right. Series with them. So, That's it's right. like. It's crazy to look at this lineup. Like, there's not many people remaining that were on that 2019 World Series roster, right? And, uh, lots of yeah. people have moved on. Soto, Rendon, uh, obviously, like the World Series MVP, Strasburg, he's not even on this list. And, you know, the. the the retirement issues with that. So um, let's take a look at this bullpen. Obviously, uh, Tanner Rainey um, didn't pitch much at all last year, only one inning. So um, that's a, that's a guy for them too. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Finnegan has good stuff though at the back end. Yep. Um, and then Dylan Floro's kind of been bouncing around. It's gotta be like this third, fourth team, but he's going <laughs> to, he's going to be serviceable. Right. Yep. Um, It's just young. They, they throw hard. A lot of these guys throw hard and, um, you know, it's going to be one of those things where, you know, they're, they might flip some guys at the deadline or whatever. They're still trying to add. So, yeah. um, we should just go over to the payroll and kind of see where that's sitting right now. Uh, 125 and that's with Strasburg's contract. Unfortunately, that's not going to come off until 27. Yeah. I highly doubt that he's going to retire, right? Like fully yeah. retire yeah. and let go of that money. He's still going to get mean, paid. For sure. If that was the case, then it would have happened by now. Last year, they canceled his retirement ceremony. Yeah. So, I mean, there's some there's some stuff going on there. And right. then, like I said, Patrick Corbin, a walk year. They're going to pay him $35 million this year. Yeah. But that's coming off the books next year. Um, every, Everybody but – what is this? Everybody but uh, Joey Gallo has an option. And Keeper Ruiz is signed to a long-term contract at a low AAV. Yeah, there's not much. There's not much guys in the books for sure. Post, uh, it's next just going to be yeah, Strasburg and Ruiz at forty million dollars. Their yeah. their payroll is going to be forty million before yeah. arbitration, obviously. Before yeah, um, but like as far as long term contracts go, man, Keith Ruiz eight years, fifty million. Yeah, that's what a steal that, that could be. That could be a steal. <laughs> oh, I mean, it, it is a steal, but yeah. it, down the road that could be. Another guy uh, for the pitching side um, is uh, Kate Cavalli. You obviously had Tommy John surgery. That's another one of those young guys that that came up for them last year. Um, he's got some decent stuff. Obviously, he's going to miss all year next year, but that's another first round pick um, that they had. So um, that's another guy yeah. that's going to be part of that part of that future for them. Yeah, as far as transactions, they haven't made a trade. No, um, you'll see that they also added like a Zach Davies to a minor league contract. He'll yep. probably get some innings. Mm -hmm. Derek Laws bounced around. Jesse Winker, you saw in the starting lineup as a non roster invite. So mm -hmm. they expect him to make the team. Jacob Barnes has been in the major leagues. You see the service time here. Yeah. Um, Richard Blyer, seven years, agreed to a minor league deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. You want Yepes? Downs, they that's lost. The, which... Juan Yepes. That's the guy that was in St. Louis, right? I believe so. That sounds yes. correct. Yeah. Yeah. They lost Jeter Downs. Yeah. I don't really think anybody's like, oh, we lost Jeter Downs. But that yeah. that's a guy that was expected to be something, and he just hasn't yet. So that's Yeah, he was in that Mookie Betts trade. He was in the Mookie Betts trade. Yeah. So, all right, guys, let's go over the projected standings. There's probably no surprise here. They got the Nats. Only 66 wins projected. So yeah. they project them to be one of the worst teams in the league. It would it would be cool to see, um, it would be cool to see them, yeah, at least break seventy three, seventy five wins. Yeah, obviously. Um, well, and another another guy that we haven't touched on that we probably should have talked about in the start was uh was Dylan Cruz, right? He's uh second overall yeah, yeah. pick, second overall pick, uh, last year I believe. Um, he's obviously going to be a huge part of the future for them and turning this turning this ship around they're probably going to get another top five top three pick this year so um sometimes like when you win a world series sometimes you go through the a rough patch and you kind of have to restock the farm and and uh i mean look at the astros they lost 100 games all those years and they picked up altuve and bragman so 
Sometimes yeah. you got sometimes you got to suck a little bit to to, to turn it back around. So well, I mean, one of the reasons why they're sucking right now too is their ownership was looking to sell the team, right? And they just pulled them off the market. So, right. you know, that always is going to be, hey, let's clear some money, clear some, so that there's no baggage for the new owner. Right. But now they're saying they obviously didn't get the offers they wanted, and now they're not going to sell. So, um, with that, we'll see what the ownership group does going forward. Uh, they won 71 games last year, and they're projecting them to be worse this year. So, yeah, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they added like a uh, Matt Chapman or something. I it really wouldn't Seriously? because they have the money. They have the money to do it. And if they're thinking, "Hey, we're going to compete in the next two years," and right. that's going to be a guy that can kind of be a vet presence when it's time to time to do something, right? I wouldn't be surprised by that. Um, especially with where the market's at, like right now. And then also Bellinger, he's only 28. Do I think he's gonna go there? No, no, but those there's there's guys out there that are young enough to fit this team when it's time to be that older vet and stuff like that. So um I expect them to be players uh for somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, they need a face Matt Chapman be the face of the franchise right now. Right. No hundred percent. No, I agree. I mean they they need a guy that's like a Zimmerman, right? Yeah. They had him his whole I obviously you're getting somebody for free agency, it's not gonna be the whole career, but you know, getting a guy like that and having him finish out the career with your team as you build it, you know, is invaluable when you get to that time where it's time to win. So um, I don't see them, obviously, the Marlins. This this is a strong division. Oh, yeah. Um, we're not talking Marlins on this video, but 80 and 82, I think the Marlins are better than 80 and 8, 82. I, I, I agree. I agree 100%. Yeah. So um, with that said, you got anything else? Nope. I think I'll do her. Alrighty, guys. See you on the next one.